There's a new hot spot in West Town. It's a bar, a restaurant, and a market with a menu that takes inspiration from Italian and Mediterranean cuisines. Here with more on Natare is, uh, and actually he's going to be preparing a very crispy skin walleye with brodo and uh, healthy greens in our Studio 41 Kitchen executive chef John Dahlstrom. Uh, Brodo, by the way. Brodo. Initially, Brodo. when I read that, I was like, is this Frodo, Lord of the Rings? <laughs> oh, man. In the darkest cooking segment in yeah. the history of the show? But, but no, it apparently is not. No, yeah. So Brodo typically is a chicken, is a chicken stock that mm -hmm. is then fortified and seasoned with Parmesan rinds. Uh, at Natar, we take, because it's a fish dish, we take our sturgeon bones, our walleye bones, and we make a really nice fish stock with it, strain that out, uh, steep a bunch of herbs, spices, and lemon into it overnight, and then the next day we'll strain that out and um, season it with the Parmesan rinds. Oh. Lord of the Rings fans, please relax. Sorry, yeah, not yeah, we're all good please on that relax. one, I promise. <laughs> okay. yeah. All right, so you have the walleye down, crispy skin, right? Yeah. So you were doing, yeah. leaving the skin on and starting on that side. Yeah, we leave the skin on, we cook it, uh, we leave the skin on, keep it skin side down, kind of press it down into the pan a little bit. Okay. Uh, and then the goal- Do you eat the skin then? Absolutely. It's oh, delicious. you do? Okay. It's just like crispy chicken skin. Okay, uh, I yeah. was thought scales would be on it still. Uh, we can, we get them in de uh, scaled and de and like dressed and everything. Oh, okay. so there's no scales. Got it. Um, there's actually certain fish out there that you can, like, they have this really cool technique where you can, like, dry the skin out with the scales on, and then you cook it really hot and fast in a pan, and it puffs the scales, and they turn into, like, little, like, chips on the outside. Whoa, of it. that's Not cool. on this guy this time. Okay. And I know uh, that every fish has a different texture or taste. Can you describe sort of what you're cooking up here and what people can expect? Uh, so the walleye, definitely, de de definitely um, mellow, gentle, okay. tender. Um, we brine all our fish for um, 20 minutes in a 5% salt brine at Natar. Okay. Um, it's just something that I've learned over the years and that people have taught me. It helps improve the texture, improves the shelf life, helps season the fish all the way through. Um, so yeah, that's our game plan for that. And then we're just gonna flip this guy over. Um, we're going to serve this with some farm collard greens, farm chili, garlic, and onion mixture and chives, and so it's kind of like, uh, I ate a dish very similar to this in New Orleans once for my birthday, Yum. and uh, it's just kind of stayed with me the whole time, and so well, that's the game this, plan. Because you, you said regional on both of these, and yeah. you guys are Italian, Mediterranean inspired, but regionally sourced, correct? Regionally sourced as much as possible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Connor, the owner, and I kind of got together, and the game plan was like, we got a lot of cool stuff around here, so let's you know showcase the cool stuff we have around here. I've been fortunate enough to work with a lot of farms over my career, and so, uh, yeah, we still have a lot of that going on, and uh, we know we're trying to get more and more of it every day as we open up here. Love yeah. it. Love it. Yeah. And, and in terms of that, do you basically prepare a menu, or is it a combination of menu and what is available? Uh, it's menu and what is available. Okay. Things change a lot. Things change often. The team is really flexible and great about dealing with that kind of stuff, and uh, Connor's got a pretty quick hand when it comes to the, the menu reprints. Uh, so we're going to take this fish out. Okay. Uh, took the uh, pan off the heat. We're gonna add in, um, I mean, what is to me a little bit of butter, what is to the rest of you probably quite a bit of butter. No, that looks but delectable. But that's the difference. Um, and then we'll start sweating out some chilies, onions, and garlic. Very nice. And okay, so while you're doing that, you guys have been open for three weeks. Yeah. How are things going? Really good. Yeah. Uh, really good, the neighborhood seems to really like us. We got some new dishes hitting the menu today. Um, and we're gonna change the menu as much as possible. Uh, surprisingly enough, even though none of us are pastry chefs, people seem to really like our dessert program. Really? Which is pretty cool. Ooh, I like that. Um, but yeah, no, things are going really well. The collaboration, which was a big goal, um, is going really well between the bar and us. Yeah, because um, you guys focus heavily on cocktails as much as you do your menu, correct? Yeah, cocktails, all the wine, all the, all the wine and the spirits all come from the Midwest as well. Pretty much the entire wine list is from Michigan which is pretty cool. That's cool. Very nice. And, and so you were not recently in the Midwest, you were in Wyoming. Can you yeah. talk to us sort of about the transition there and sort of the different clientele? Yeah, I've been back from Wyoming for about a year now. Um, and, ooh, sorry. That's right. and, uh, <laughs> it's a kitchen, that's yeah, what yeah, happens, man. It's been, okay. uh, it's, been, uh, it's been nice to be back. It was an interesting transition going out to Wyoming with it being um, so desolate and remote compared to a big city like Chicago where I was born and raised. Um, but it was a really cool experience. I met I met a lot of really cool people, and um, you know, got to see a side of the, the nation and the world that I wouldn't normally ever get to see. Uh, tell us what you did too, because I know I saw you put more broth in. What, is it collard greens that are in there? It's these are collards from okay. a farm. We get these from uh, Spence Farm, and uh, the chili, onions, and garlic also local. Uh, we're just gonna do a little bit of seasoning with salt and lemon here because it's fish. Yeah. Um, those things taste good with fish, uh, and then we just cook the greens down in the brodo for a little while and. Then we'll plate it up. 
And you said you have new menu items today. Today. Tell us a little bit about the menu. Uh, so the menu is pretty small, but pretty, uh, well, pretty small, but pretty concise. And uh, you know, we do our best to keep it changed, to keep it fresh. Uh, we have a sunchoke dish on this really well, good. Mm -hmm. I came here with this uh, walleye today because it's been a very popular one. Uh, the beef is a beef cheek. We just finished running a um, a large, like three pound bone in pork chop oh, from a farmer good. in downstate Illinois that I've been working with for since I was like 22 years old. Mm -hmm. This is just a little chive oil. It, looks, oh, it just looks really nice in there. And then we'll finish with more chives because they're my favorite thing. Oh, this looks gorgeous. But yeah, so that's our that's our crispy skin walleye with braised collard greens and a uh, Fume Brodo. All right, That's, I'm gonna try this. That is fantastic. While we are this. eating this, yep, uh, you had mentioned that you had some celebrity uh, <laughs> folks that you served uh, yeah. before coming back to Chicago. Uh, give us a rundown. Uh, there was, uh, I did. I served scallops to Zoe Deschanel once. Nice. Um, I think she's dating one of the Property Brothers, so he yep. was he was, mm -hmm. he was was there. Um, the guy that invented mm. Flex Seal so was around. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, Huge. That's a, yeah that's it was cool. really funny. One of our one of our pipes actually broke while he was there, and everyone was like, see if he's got any Flex Seal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, in the right place at the right time, yeah. that's for sure. Chef, yeah. thank you so much for joining uh, us. My we pleasure. really appreciate it. Thanks for having it. us. Yeah. Hey, check him out, Natar. It is over there on West Chicago Avenue. Uh, BarNatar.com is the website. You can see the social media handles there as well.